Dude, I couldn't stop crying that day. And he asked my parents to, so I could be his girlfriend. He asked them Pidió for permission. permiso. Normalmente ya muchos hombres ahora no ya no piden eso. permiso, piden perdón ya cuando <laughs> las embarazan. everyone, I'm your host, Alanized, and welcome to Noche de Pendejadas, your favorite talk show turned podcast where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers para platicar y posiblemente sacarles sus trapitos al sol. Please help me welcome tonight's guest, Marlene Dizzle! Oh my God, hi, Hello, friend. <laughs> you guys, por si ustedes no saben, this is your second time on yes, the show, dude. pero es tu primera vez solita. Solita, wey. so estoy poquita nerviosa. Nerviosa, Está un poquito nerviosa. Ya saben que antes de que platiquemos, güey, vamos a tomarnos un shot yes. a petición de Marlene. Marlene was like, do you have like a tequila shot or something? Dude, I was like, no me quiero ver como una peda. Ah, you're like, like, but you are. Ah, just kidding. No. Honestamente, you know what's crazy? I stopped doing the shots on the show because a lot of people uh -huh. weren't down to drink. Oh my god. So like oh to me god. I love that. Like I love like the ay tú tómate tu pinche shot para que se te salga lo que se tenga yeah. que salir. Tengo ah, que te sacar sacar también. <laughs> so como pueden ver you guys, aquí tenemos el shot. Yo supuestamente no iba a tomar, amigas. He's like you want me to take one with you? I'm like, Duh. Yeah, yo yo pensaba que no le iba a ver a ella tomarse la you guys, but I'm like, you know what? Me voy a tomar un shot con ella, lista para okay, arriba, para pa abajo, abajo para el, pa el centro y para adentro. Mm. Not oh us God. taking a shot at 10 a.m., bitch. Yeah, I'm like, you guys do not want to know the time right now, girl. Ya yeah, después de ese pinche shot, I feel like it's going to start kicking in very, yeah. very soon, especially for me, bitch, because I get I drunk really quick. Anything. Me either. So I'm like, for sure going to be buzzed right now. I'm like, good. <laughs> ah, para que se le salga todo. No, pero en verdad, I am so excited to have you here. La primera vez que te tuvimos, can I confess something? Okay, tell me. Okay, so <laughs> if you guys go back to the episode with Marlene and Adam, even though I had a great time, you want to know that that's It's probably one of my least favorite episodes. <gasps> Pero oh, no why? por ustedes, no por ah, ustedes. No, por ustedes. <laughs> no te preocupes. <laughs> I, I loved y'all. No, because you remember we were having oh, a lot yeah, of difficulty with the audio. audio. Yes, yeah, so yo me acuerdo que en ese tiempo, you guys, estábamos grabando con otros tipos de micrófonos. Yeah, and yeah. a veces escuchaba a Marlene, a veces escuchaba a Adam. Like, it was just a I disaster. Remember. You were almost not going to upload it. Yeah, huh? I was almost not going to upload it, but I was yeah. like, you know what? Like, en ese tiempo, Adam ni bebía aquí. Oh, and I, I was like, you know what? I don't think Adam has plans. Like, de I venir. Ah, you're like, now it's going up. I'm like, que la gente hable del pinche audio, chinga su madre, pero que se sube, se sube. And people were like, yes, a lot of people mad. were complaining. <laughs> like, focus on us. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. No, but the audio was really bad, you guys. I didn't really notice it. Ah, I'm I love like, maybe because all my videos are like that. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene's like, that was actually my favorite episode of all your seasons. But I think it was because I had a hard time, like, trying to make it work. I feel like because cuando el audio is off, it wasn't that it was even off. It was just like, let's say Marlene's talking right now. No se escuchaba para nada, güey. It was like different types of, like, audio. Yeah, it just sounded yeah. very off. But yeah. you know what? Sabes que por eso traje a Adam alone. Y ahora trajimos a la Marlene. Y pues yo estoy listo para el chisme. I feel like whenever you're able to talk solitos, I feel like uh -huh. it's more it's personal. More intimate, huh? Yes, because yeah. like, cuando entrevisto a dos personas, me encanta. Yeah. But it's more like, yo quiero enfocarme en sí. ti. So uh -huh. hoy para esto me traje a Marlene, you guys. Porque hoy le quiero sacar todo. Y quiero conocerte un poquito más. I've been knowing you for how long? Ya tiempo, I ya no? Como two years, no? Más, ¿no crees? Ah, we all like our infancy. I'm like, como Desde diez. Desde los cinco años. Like, yo me acuerdo que te cargué, amiga. No, but I've been knowing you for a while no, now. No, yeah, it's been a while now. So, ya después de conocer... But, but you know what's crazy? Even though I know you for like a while, like, siento que todavía te puedo conocer un poquito, poquito más. más yeah. Ah, so por porque eso te traje. Porque no somos como... Ah, ah porque no somos no, no amigos. Friend, ah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, but no, for real. But we hang out and stuff, but like, no sabemos como... Our, Yes, you know I mean? y hoy los quiero saber, <laughs> amigas. No, but that's true though. Like, I feel like it's very normal for people on social media mm -hmm. to be like, oh, se juntan, they must be best of friends. Uh -huh, yeah. Pero no, you guys, yo cuando miro a Marlene, ha de ser que en eventos, 
Ajá, en eventos. Pero o... así, así, así el chile, el chile, que nos miremos todos los días o que nos textemos mm. todos los días tampoco. tampoco so today ya. me la traje, you guys. So antes de que empecemos, I feel like everybody already knows who the fuck you are, but no, si no uh, quiero que no, I... hype me up. <laughs> no, pero antes de que empecemos con el me fucking the tequila already hitting bitch. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck? What am I supposed to say? I'm taking out my notes. <laughs> I'll I'm like, what does the secrets? script say to ask her? <laughs> no, okay, antes de que empecemos con el episodio de hoy, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Marlene para que ella nos diga un poquito más de quién es y qué hace. Okay, guys, so for those of you guys who may not know me, because <laughs> Alan was hyping me up too much, my name's Marlene Mendez, and I do social media, so I do, like, lifestyle, beauty, fashion content on my TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Um, and sometimes I bring in my family to do TikToks with me. Like you, you guys might see my dad or my mom or even my brothers doing TikToks with me. Porque me los halo. I'm like, you guys need to come and work también. Ah, ah si yo trabajo, <laughs> ustedes también. No, but yeah, I do it all. And yeah. I feel like you do do a little bit of everything. I your TikToks with your dad, though. Oh my God, I love them. How does he get them so good? Es mejor TikToker que yo. Dude, it takes us so many tries, but... We get it. At ah, the end. but I'm he's like, good at it. <laughs> he's good. I'm like, you're true. <laughs> no, literally though. En verdad no, que sí, yeah. porque hasta yo, you guys, a veces con TikTok me estreso, güey. Dude, me too. Bitch, you make it look easy. Well, it's because I feel like I, that was the first app that I learned how to oh. like actually be on. Pero it's still hard. Like the new trends keep coming and you're like, oh my God, I need to keep up. I need to keep up. I need to keep up. And I totally feel like when you first started TikTok, it's totally different oh now. Oh my God, yes. It was all like dances. Yes. Y ahora ya no puros envíos, güey. Yeah. So ya vamos a empezar con el chisme. Ya chinga su madre. Ya dejar de hablar de... Yo ya la conozco. Yeah. So a ver, yo quiero saber... How was Marlene growing up? How were you? ¿Cómo era tu infancia? ¿Cómo fue tu juventud? Dinos todo, a mí. I think I had a really good, like, infancia growing up because my parents were always, like, working. Nunca nos dejaron saber that they were struggling, even though maybe they did struggle, but they never, like, let us know that. It's funny because it didn't hit me that you had to work really hard to have things until when I was older and I started working myself. Oh, shit. Yeah, because para nosotros it was like, oh, my mom was always working. We saw that, but we never saw like the struggles. Yeah. My parents have a business now, mm -hmm. but they didn't start it until like when my little brother was born. So when he was born, they started their business and that's when I started seeing like how much they would work. And I love seeing that part of them because I love seeing them grow as well. Yeah. They would always como cambiar oficinas. And they would start growing and growing and growing and growing. And I'd be like, oh, my God, like, they're doing super good. Yeah. You know, so they always taught me, like, if you want to do good in life, you have to work hard for it. When I was growing up and they would work a lot, nos dejaban solos <laughs> because they didn't have, yeah, like, yeah. a babysitter. So nos dejaban solos and they'd be like, no, no le vayan a abrir la puerta a nadie. It's me. Dude, so we would always, like, be, like, encerrados. And sometimes we would want to go out and play with, like, our neighbors. So we would go out in la calle and then my mom would get so mad. She'd be like, no, I told you guys not to go outside. Like, I'm not here. Like, what if something happens? Because my dad and my mom were not home. So mostly it was just me and my big brother until my little one came. And then when my little brother came, we did have a babysitter for him. <laughs> You're like, no, we yeah. were the babysitter? <laughs> no, we didn't leave him alone. You know what's so crazy, though? Do you remember? I feel like a lot of kids, maybe I'm like too grown to like know but I, I feel like nowadays kids will understand what it was like yeah. to like not have a babysitter and stay home no, alone no yeah and then averiguárselas like how you would eat or yes. what you would eat I was like that my mom and my dad were working no, too tocaba. too y cuando yo vivía en apartamentos so a veces venía gente a tocar uh -huh. que a dejar flyers o que a dejar sepa la verga lo que venían a dejar y yo me acuerdo wey que en cuando tocaban bitch yo me escondí abajo de la no, cámara yeah. and just go to the room <laughs> like, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> but hasta uno se asustaba. No, Did you ever yeah. feel like you would get scared when people would knock? I would always get scared. And nos fijamos por la ventanita. And then my brother would be like, don't open up. Like, don't. don't It's even. CPS. Like, like, like don't. Yeah, like, just shut up. No, but it was crazy because one time I was with my little, well, no, with my big brother at home alone. And he was playing video games. And I don't know what I was doing. I, I was bored, girl. And we had a phone que casi no se escuchaba. Like, you couldn't really hear from it. So I thought it didn't work. Yeah. So yo de niña boba, pendeja. Estúpida. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing and I was like, oh, I wonder like if I call the like 911 right now. And I thought the phone didn't work in my defense, okay? And I call, I dial 911 and someone answered. And I was like, oh. so I clicked right away. 
dude, tell me why the cops, they came. And they kept knocking, knocking, knocking. Okay, we're going to take down the no, door. Literally. No, not like that. But they were like knocking and we were like, oh my God. I never told my mom. Never told my mom. My brother, my big brother answered. I think he was at the time like 14. No, actually like 10. Because I was like five. We're like five years different. Yeah. And he opened up and the cops came in. They're like, can we come in? Like, who are you guys with? And then my big brother was like, oh, my mom left for a mandado, but she'll be back. And then he went into our rooms. He saw the cuna and everything. And he's like, oh, you guys have a baby? Like, where's the baby? And then my big brother was like, oh, well, the babysitter took him. Like, she'll be back too. And then he's like, okay. And they left. And then my mom, dude, we called my mom. And my mom was scared, like super scared. And dude, I, I didn't tell her. Like these whole years, I didn't tell her until last year. She thought that it was like the neighbors, like chismosas. Ah, yeah. está tocando. Like, chismosas me trajeron a la policía. Porque... Dude, and it's all <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, she knew that the cops went, but she no, didn't yeah, know that knew. you called them. Yeah, she didn't know that I called them until like years later, like a year ago. I told Bitch. her. I'm like, mom, te quiero confesar algo. I'm like, ya no le tenga <laughs> rincón a la vecina, por favor. Fui yo. Ah. Yeah, I was like, it was me. She's like, hija de tu madre. Bitch. Like, why are you doing that? I'm like... I just didn't think the phone worked. You know what's so crazy though? Because I, I feel like uno de niños se pone curioso. Uh -huh. Like, what the fuck can you do? Like, yeah. está solo en casa. ¿Qué me pongo a hacer? Le voy a llamar a la policía. Ah, you. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing else to do than to I'm call. I'm like, no tengo de comer, tengo hambre. Le voy a llamar a la policía. I'm like, esto es una emergencia. Ah. So, obviamente, you know, you started growing up. Y luego empezas a ir a la escuela. How was school for you? Like, maybe like more your middle school, high school years. Like, te la pasabas bien, eras como la cool girl, eras more like the loner. ¿Cómo fue tu school life? So for high school, I was more like, I was everywhere. <laughs> I had friends like everywhere, you know, I never really had my group of friends. Okay. Um, but I don't know, high school was like something else. I didn't really enjoy high school that much. Really? Yeah. Why? Like a lot of drama for me. <laughs> ah, you're like too I'm many like, fights. No, ah. yeah, it was like too much. And I was like, I know, like I couldn't wait to go to college. So I went to college and then college was way different. I made so many friends and it was just a different vibe because I dormed there. So once oh, you shit. dorm, yeah, it's like so different. Like you live there, you, it's like a little community and everybody knows each other, especially because the, the school I went to, I went to UC Merced, they're super small. So it was like. I went to a small middle school too, so I felt like it was middle school for me all over. Hi, you're like, oh, this is small. <laughs> you're like, Cheers. I'm like, it's I'm my like, I feel place. at home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch. literally. So I went to college. I lived there for four years, and then after that, I started. Well, I worked in college. No, I actually started my YouTube in college. Oh shit! Okay, just yeah. like 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 for fun sees yeah, vibes. Yeah, because I always wanted to be like on YouTube, and I was like, "Oh, should I start it?" It took me a whole year to decide if I should start it or not, because it's always so hard to start. It is. I feel like it's los el miedo. Yeah. Y el miedo like, de que ay, que va a decir la gente, que va a decir mi room, and like, bitch, la gente le vale verga. No, I just yeah, started honestly. literally. But some of them would judge, but a ti yeah. te valga, dude, because no te están pagando, no te están limpiando, no te están arreglando. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hay mucha gente especial a mí included que hacen redes sociales y obviamente no tienen ningún tipo de degree mm -hmm. was it really important for you to like go to college and get your degree yes growing up my mom siempre nos inculcó like she was always like you you guys are gonna go to college like there's not a, an option like, yeah. i don't care if you guys do not want to go if you guys don't like school but you guys are gonna go to college and i always had that in mind like i'm gonna go to college Like, no era como que, oh, no quiero. Pero querías tú, ¿verdad? Sí, yo okay. quería, because I always liked school. My mom would tell me that in preschool, like, one time she left to Mexico, and I always wanted to be in school. That she's like, mija, vamos a ir a México, you want to go? And that I was like, no, I have school. Bitch, I me, know. I'm like, no, yo voy a las vacaciones, <laughs> no, chingue su madre en la escuela. I'm like, what? I'm like, ahorita es otra onda, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> But I always liked school, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go get my degree. And I, también because I always thought that you needed school to be successful. Yeah. Because that's how people and make I feel it like seem that is, up. Especially like us growing up in like the yeah. 2000s. I feel like a lot of people were like, you're not going to be successful si no vas school. a la escuela. Yeah, and then when people would come to high schools to like give you a speech, like people you're that like, were in yes. college. Uh, yeah, you, you felt career inspirational. Day, bitch, on yes. career day, On career day. I went to college and I mainly did it for my parents. 
Okay. Yeah, because I wanted to see them, you know, it's happy. Happy. And tanto que se esforzaron ellos, tanto yeah, que ponieron empeño. Yeah. And like, I that's the like, least you can do. Yeah, and my parents, because FAFSA never really gave me, like, a lot of money. So my parents did have to pay out of pocket. Mm. So it was more like, I need to do it for them because they're putting all their you know hard earned money hard money into this so y te yeah, so what right. do you have your degree in I am business management and economics bitch I'm you like... know what's so crazy <laughs> yo quería hacer una degree in, really? in business que yeah. la hice no obviamente verdad but I feel like it's super important though too because I feel like mucha gente uh, and I'm speaking for myself too because I feel like ya ahora ya pushing 25 mm -hmm. I'm very much like damn like me apendeje por yeah. qué no fui a la escuela por qué no mm -hmm. why didn't I get my degree I always think about like damn bitch like me You wish you would have gotten it. Yeah, I, I low key do. Really? I low key, but you know what's crazy? Yo pienso que los tiempos, like, you know, ya ya no puede ser. Yo me acuerdo cuando yo empecé a hacer YouTube y a hacer Instagram. Yeah. Fue when I started like going up, I guess mm -hmm. you can say. Era cuando yo empecé la, el colegio. El colegio yeah. So for me, it was very easy. I was like, oh my god, I'm already making money. Like money's mm -hmm. coming in. Like chingas like, madre la escuela. Yeah. You know what I mean? But ya ahora ya los 25 años, I'm very much like, you know what? Like, obviamente no voy a estar a mis 60, 50 años yeah. haciendo videos de YouTube. Yeah. Ay, ya me viera ridículo, ¿verdad? ¿Quién like, chingados va a querer baby? verme? Ah, you're like, bitch, that's my goal. Ah, you're like, I want to keep doing this. So now maybe as like someone that's like older and maybe more mature, me hubiera gustado obviamente ir right. a la escuela, pero pues no se hizo. A lo mejor, I want to go back, but you I feel like... You can do it. It's never too late. I always say that like, it's never too late to do whatever you want to do in life. I just feel like now it's a little harder. Mm -hmm. Porque si en ese tiempo supuestamente yo me creía muy busy, ahora sí ya estoy más busy, no, so yeah. it's hard. Sometimes I think that I'm like, I should have done my master's like right after... College? Like right after, yeah. Yeah, but now I'm like, I don't know because a lot of people say how it ma getting your master's is so expensive. Yeah. And after college, I was super broke and I already knew that my parents were not going to be able to afford it. it but, like another reason is that I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my business degree yet. So when you go get a master's, you really have yeah. to know like what you want to, yeah, what you want to dedicate your master's to. So you could like, you know, work in that field. But, you know, I was like, no, never mind. I'll do the master's later. You know what's so crazy? Like, yo, that's how clueless I am uh -huh. when it comes to, like, school. Like, I didn't even know you need to be so dedicated to, like, specifically of what you want to dedicate yeah. your master's to. So, like, to. you can be a psychologist, but you have to know what you want to study for your master's para dedicarte en eso. In the like, us kids uh -huh. or, like, grown-ups. Yes. It's so crazy. It's crazy yeah. But do you feel like now having, you know, your, um, what is it, your... Bachelors? Bachelors, yeah. I mean, I'm, not, I'm like <laughs> masters, I'm like doctorates. No, but do you feel like now having your your masters in business, do you feel like that's helped you a lot with what you do now on social media? Um, Kind of, yes. Because I feel like sometimes they don't teach you everything in school mm -hmm. that you have to know. Like when I got out, I didn't know about credit. I didn't know about buying a house. And like, you know, that's all supposed to be business. Yeah. But they don't teach you that in school. Like, they only teach you, like, by the book. so Which is, like, crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, and I got out of college, and my mom was like, ¿Cómo de que no sabes de esto? O, ¿Cómo de que no Tanto sabes que pagué de... para yeah, que no te enseñara like, ni vergas. Didn't go to school? And I'm like, Mom, they don't teach you this in school. I'm like... And you see a lot of... Because I, I still through TikTok <laughs> once, and someone was talking about that. Like, they don't It is you. crazy, though, because even in, yeah. in, like, high school, like, you know how they're, like, teaching you, preparándote para mm -hmm. empezar tu nueva vida as mm -hmm. an adult. I'm like, vergas, yo no aprendí nada in high school que estoy no, usando yeah. ahorita. No, yeah. You like, literally. That's why it's like, you don't really need school to be successful. Like, mientras que tengas, I feel like, mientras que, you know, mm -hmm. me saying it here, like, obviamente encourage people, like, go to school per, because, oh, no, yeah. You know, ah, <laughs> no, yeah. Like, no, 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 even me, bitch. Si mi sobrinita está viendo esto, ah, ah, because you know. it's watching this, go to school, girl. <laughs> no, but like, in reality, though, like, hay muchas cosas que en verdad si te ponen las pilas, puedes aprender sin ir a la escuela yeah. and be successful. I know, I think there's like a lot of business people that don't even go to school y son rete, like, successful. I think what school really does teach you is discipline and responsibility. Yeah. So I feel like that's that's a good reason to go to school because I wouldn't be the person I am today, like um, responsible, discip disciplined, because... If, if it I weren't didn't go school to, to yeah, school. Yeah, if I didn't go to school or college. Obviamente, fuiste a la escuela. Did you work before doing social media? Yeah, I worked... Um, so 
I told you that in college, I worked like a little part-time job. Uh-huh. So I was in Caliente Station, as you say, Amava, in the cafeteria. Oh, and I would shit. basically do, it was kind of like a little Chipotle. She's not the lunch lady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah I was. Oh, so it was period. like a little Chipotle and like I would take their orders and like serve them and everything. And that was like my part-time job. Como era mi dinerito que yo me pagaba mis cosas. You know? Yeah, like, so that was like for your gusto. Yeah, for my stuff in college. After college, I worked at a bank and I was a teller. Oh, shit. Yeah. So contabas Contaba dinero. dinero. Is that fun? <laughs> I've always wondered. You know, I was going to tell you that I always wanted to be like a cashier, <laughs> the chiquita. Siempre me gustaba contar dinero and everything. So I was like, when I when I worked at the bank, it was like super fun. Like it every was, day I was living. like, yes, I'm going to my like, job. Tanto dinero. Yeah, ah, no. What was the most you ever saw like someone having their account? Can you uh, say, ah, you're like my bank account, ah? Uh, well, I think I told, yeah, I told, yeah. I'm like, I can say. Right. <laughs> it was like three million, yeah, on one account. And did the person look like normal? Yeah, dude, they were like very humilde, like una pareja que venía, and it was just like, they were hardworking because siempre traían sus um, Como te han de haber tenido de un negocio. Work. Yeah. That's crazy. So I obvious. Like, oh, oh my God. Ah, you're like, can you transfer some <laughs> over? Like, I I'm a struggling college student. <laughs> Me, but you're all wiring it to your account. Oh, you Imagine. Like, just... It's crazy. Like when you think about bank jobs. No, También yeah. a mí, like I remember when I was growing up, I siempre me fascinaba. Yeah. Because a mí siempre, like, I know it might sound wrong, you guys, and I know it might sound like weird, but maybe this is why I've always been so driven mm-hmm. to try to be as successful as I can. When I was little, el tema del dinero siempre me fascinaba, güey. Dude, me too. Yo me acuerdo que con mi abuelita, dude, like, my grandma I just all upstairs yo me acuerdo desde chiquito güey yo siempre le preguntaba y abuelita ¿cuánto dinero tiene? Oh. ¿y a quién le va a dejar su fortuna? <laughs> ¿qué pinche fortuna? Oh, but, 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 no, but, I've always been very, like, money like, yeah. siempre preguntaba mom, ¿cuánto, paga, ¿cuánto pagamos de renta? like, obviously, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no nos decían a veces pues yo siempre la plática de dinero me gustaba That's good. entonces yo cuando uh-huh. empecé a crecer and I was trying to look for it, obviously, I didn't end up working at the bank mm-hmm. I think banking was one of those jobs that i'm like i want to do it like and it's fun it was always like a high paid job yeah like and for counting other good. people's money yeah. like fuck it yeah ah, and like, i always look no es pa presumir, all right? huh? but i would always balance like after a day so like you have to balance right like you don't have to be like lower than your than zero or yeah. higher than zero because that means you messed up on the like you gave too much money or yeah the or, yeah but I would always balance. <laughs> ah, I was really good. Yeah, I was really good. So. Like, I was the employee of the month, all the months. <laughs> I imagine. I'm so, like, not uh, like that, but yeah. <laughs> so, obviamente, tu viste trabajando en el banco. And you mentioned earlier that throughout the time you were in college and mm-hmm. working your part time job, yeah. empezaste a hacer YouTube. Yeah. Whoa, how was that? ¿Cómo empezaste a hacer social media? And when did you really get introduced to it, like, bien, bien, bien al Chile, to the point where you were like, you know what, I can actually do this full time? I started YouTube when I was in college for funsies and also because I always wanted to be like an influencer like that was like oh my god you know like when they started I think I was in high school with influencing starting started um and I also had a friend which I always talk about her because like I I know her Erica Angel Uh and she was she started the influencing life when she was in high school so then I'd be like oh my god I love that and then makeup started And then I started getting into makeup. I started doing my makeup. And I would upload, like, my makeup looks in college. Like, me tardaba horas, dude. Like, three hours. On your phone or in camera? No, doing my makeup. Well, no, I would only do pictures on Instagram. Okay. Because you know how pictures were popular at the time? So I would always do, like, do my makeup. Me tardaba cuatro horas haciéndome mi makeup. And then otra hora de editar, which I didn't know how to edit, but I tried. You would make it work. Yeah. And then I uploaded on Instagram my pictures, tag all the brands, you know, all the hashtags. That was the good old Dude, days. I know. Huh? I'm like, la jame les enseño. That's how I started. And then I kind of gave up because no veía como resultados. And I was like, oh, like, I'm, I need to focus in college. And then también, like, graduarme and see what I'm going to do after. To yeah. like pay my bills, porque también. You're like, esto no está dejando ni mierdas. <laughs> ah, you're all bad. No, and I was just like, whoa, well, I need to. My mom siempre me decía, like, pon los pies en la tierra. But not in a bad way. Like, I think your mom always trying to, like, look out for you. So But I also do like, feel like our Hispanic moms, like, este I mundo know. es nuevo para ellas. Yeah. You know what I mean? They never knew anything about yeah. it. So she was like, you need to, like, focus on your career. So I was like, okay. So then I was already doing YouTube at the time. And then I stopped that. I graduated, 
went into my job banking. And then after that, um, I started, I just randomly did a video, the one I duetted with Adam, Adam on mm-hmm. TikTok. I was going to go out one night with my friends and it started raining. So they canceled on me and I was like, oh man, like I'm not going to go out anymore. So then I was just scrolling on TikTok. Yo ya lista con mi pelo, mi makeup done and everything. And I started scrolling on TikTok and I saw Adam's video and I saw people duetting it. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I wonder how I would do it. Yeah, like, chinga su madre. Yeah, I'm like, let me do it. Fun. I'm bored right now. Let me just do it. And I did it. I sent it to my little brother. And I remember my little brother was actually the one that told me to download TikTok. Oh, shit. He was, he's younger than me. Yeah. So he's like that generation, Aaron. Ah, like, he likes <laughs> like that Like the shit. younger generation yeah. that like knew about TikTok before us. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to download. So then I downloaded it. So then when I did my first video, I sent it to him. And... Well, obviously, he thought I was being cringe because he's a I brother. never do. Yeah, he's a brother, and I never do those type of videos. And then I redid the video because I was like, okay, maybe it is too cringe. <laughs> so I redid it and lo subía at Twitter without telling him. I was like, I'm gonna just like, like I don't need his Twitter. advice. Uh, no, yeah, I was like, I don't need his negativity. <laughs> I don't need him to judge me. <laughs> no, and I just uploaded it on Twitter because I'm like, I want my friends to see it yeah. and tell me what they think. But it was more like I want them to laugh, not like. Like, not to take it not serious. Think, yeah, yeah, not thinking anything of it. And it just, like, blew up. On Twitter? On Twitter. Oh, shit. Yeah. Out of all the places, Twitter. I know. I went to sleep, and then I woke up. And, and I, I was had, famous. Like, ah. no, I, I was like, oh, it's maybe a one-time thing. Because ya me había pasado una vez yeah. con un tweet. You know how, like, Twitter, like, And they it retweet goes it, to, like, if you repost to, <laughs> ah, be looking like, up relatable likes. quotes. <laughs> I had to go viral. Yeah. So I was like, oh, ya me pasó una vez. Maybe it's a one-time thing. Yeah. I didn't really think of any, anything of it. So then... People kept telling me like, oh, you need to do more of these. Like, we love it. And in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, should I or should I not? Like, I'm scared. Like, what if people don't like the second video? Yeah. And I like remember, the pressure's on. Yeah. Like, literally, I told my brothers, oh my gosh, should I or should I not? And they're like, just go for it. And I was like, okay. But um, I did the second video. I uploaded it. And yeah, I did it good again. The third video did good again. The fourth video did good again. And, and you're like, like, whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, people like this connection yeah. that I'm having with Adam because some people were like, wait, are you guys really not on FaceTime? And I'm like, no, dude, like we're just, I'm doing, I'm reacting to him. Yeah. And I think it had to do a lot with like the timing. And the and chemistry too. The chemistry and also the relatable stuff that I was um, putting into the videos that everybody related to because it was high school and you know what's like crazy though trends. there was a lot of people duetting adam mm-hmm. and the ones that would go viral and the ones i would see on my timeline were the ones where you were duetting mm-hmm. him yeah había un chingo de gente. no there was a lot yeah. of people yeah which they were all good yeah they were all yeah. good but like you did like a lot of people loved the relatableness yeah. and like the shit que se i think te it was the crunchy boca. hair it was it was giving <laughs> very like hot cheeto girl yeah. chola in like high school but. yeah so wait yo tengo una pregunta so obviamente acabas de decir that you had st- you had given up on social media uh-huh. so how long was that gap of like you know what i'm done being a social media like person like ya no quiero saber nada de ese mundo. you quit doing youtube and then you got on tiktok so i graduated college in 2018 and when my first video like blew up was 2020 the beginning of 2020 okay yeah so it was two years damn yeah bitch. or like a year and a half something that's like that's a around. great example of like what's meant to be is meant it to be. be yes yeah and i always thought that like i was like okay if social media is gonna be for me it's gonna be for me when the, the time, time is, is right, right. Mm-hmm. and i didn't want to like also like be too persistent on it because yeah. i'm like well, ahorita I need to focus on what's important to me. Yeah. And right now it's my career and like what I'm going to do next. And I was just like, if social media se va a dar, it's going to be when, whenever it wants to be, you know, yeah. whenever God wants to. So, y yeah. two years y later, he says, so. that's crazy how timing is. Yeah. So, obviamente, empezar a hacer social media, mm-hmm. your numbers started going up. And I'm sure that was super, super exciting for you. Yeah. ¿A qué momento dices tú? ¿Sabes qué? Yo ya pienso que puedo hacer esto full time. Chinga su madre, el banco. Like, what was that moment for you where you're like, you know what? I'm quitting my job and I'm dedicating myself to social media. Well, you know what? It was like a lot of like stress for me because I was working like a nine to five. So it was Mm -hmm. a full time and I was getting promoted too. Oh, shit. Like they were promoting me to a relationship banker, which is like when you're in the little The cubicles. Yeah. Yeah. And I was studying already because you have to take certain exams 
to be there. Yeah. So I was studying and then that's when COVID happened. So they paused the whole studying. And at the same time, my numbers were growing. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Me mandaron, I was studying and luego me mandaron back to the bank. So I was just floating around. Like I yeah. wasn't a teller or I wasn't a banker. Like, I was just greeting people coming in and out. Because my studies were paused. Yeah. And I didn't have a cash box anymore, which is like your money you yeah. know so i couldn't oh, wait, really so those do are much assigned uh-huh. it's not like just like a regular cashier where like you no. clock in and you take over a little caja. no you have your own cash box because that's your money oh, like shit. at the end of the day you have your own money and like you have to take care of that money yeah damn so i didn't have that and i didn't have like my cubicle yeah. so i was just like um floating around and i was always on my phone because i wanted to like I, oh at the time i already had my manager my social yeah. media manager so I was always on my phone, like talking to her. And I remember my bank manager, she noticed that and she was like, we need to talk. And I was like, I'm like, yes, estoy in trouble. Ay, <laughs> like, me van a correr. No yeah. yeah. So she was just like, I know what's going on with you. Like, I know that you're growing on social media and it might be distracting, but you need to be focused here or you need to choose. You need to choose. One or the other. One or the other, because I can't have you like half assing here or half assing that yeah. you know and i was like oh my god like what do i do and i would literally go home from work so i would be done by like six go home from work do my makeup all over again and film for tiktok, TikTok. like the duets yeah and still have to go buy props because like all the like the hot little cheetos props, the yeah. lunch ah, like, <laughs> yes. i'm like bitch i have those in my <laughs> counter what do you mean you had to go buy the props huh? no because there was yeah. a sandwich that i didn't see like in a while and i was like i'm gonna go buy it yeah it's relatable so yeah i would go and find the little props right and me encerraban mi cuarto i would be in my room like till like midnight and my parents wouldn't see me anymore so oh, one time my mom and my dad had a talk with me. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, And they came into my room and they're like, what's going on? Like, we don't see you anymore. Like, you don't even want to come out to eat. Like, what are, what's is going on? Is everything good? Yeah, it's yeah. everything good. And I'm like, yeah, everything's good. And they already knew about social media. You're like, media. yeah, I'm just famous. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, I'm just trying to grow, mom. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, okay, mija, but also like you need to you need time for your family too yeah and i'm like okay like i need time for work i need time for family i need time for like videos. everyone wants <laughs> yeah. fucking to have a piece of my time yeah. which is crazy like it was a dar el estrés y la presión de todos. right so then my mom was like okay look we're gonna talk to you like it's either one or the other yeah and then she's like what do you want to do what is your heart telling you to do and i'm like well you know mom like i you've known this i've always wanted to be an influencer but also, I don't want to give up my job and, like, influencing doesn't work out. Yeah. And especially because it's a steady, good job. Yeah. It's not like you were working at a minimum page right. job. You know and what I mean? And it was a good, yeah, the bank is a good job. And I was going to get paid more because I was getting yeah. a raise, you know? So I was like, oh, my God, I don't know. And my mom's like, well, what's the worst thing that can happen? And I'm like, well, that influencing doesn't work out. And she's like, okay. She's like, okay. She's like, and is that a big problem? Like, you're young, you have your degree. It's not like you can't no talk your way mundo. into a job, yeah. another one, or the same one, you know? And I was like, you're right. And she's like, yeah, I feel like you should just go for it. Damn. So that, dude, I started crying when she told me that. Because I never thought that they'd be so supportive of it. Yeah, and especially, like, Hispanic parents. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people miran esto como... Ay, no, eso no, eso mm -hmm. no va a darte de comer, eso right. no te va a pagar right. la renta. So the fact that your mom was like, no, mija, si eso es lo que quieres Just tú, hazlo, that means a lot, I'm sure and at I the moment. And I think it was more like, because I was already out of college. Yeah. Because I feel like if I was already, if I was still in college, she would have been like, no, you need to finish college and then you need to dedicate yourself to that. Pienso que sabía que tú también ya te habías puesto las pilas y sabía ella yeah. que you're like, you know what, mija ya se esfuerzo, ahora ya tiene que hacer lo que su corazón le diga. Right. Y you está know? trabajando like it's not like she's just coming and like not doing anything. Haciendo pendeja. like right. she literally is right. already working and she's already worked herself up so is this la decision how was it like oh como fue eso como como le dijiste a tu manager like sabes que you know what no te voy a dar mi tiempo a ti dude i'm not gonna lie to you guys i cried i cried because i'm the type to always be grateful of the opportunities they give me so cuando yo fallo i get so sad and i get emotional 
even though I was doing it for like the good of me, it was more like my manager did put in like a good word for me to get a promotion. Yeah. So I was just like, how am I going to do this to her? Like she put in work to get me here and now I'm just going to quit on her. So it was more like, okay, I'm doing it for me. Like I need this yeah. time I'm going to be selfish. So I went in there and, you know, I just told her, I was already crying before I even said anything to her. So she already knew. She already She's knew. like, you're a mess. Go <laughs> home. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I'm firing you. <laughs> no, and I was like, I just want to like, thank you for everything. You know, I obviously like, le agradezco. And yeah, she just told me like, okay, well, you know, the doors are open whenever you want to come back. Like you can, but I hope everything goes well for you. And I'm, I'm proud of you. And I was like, oh, thank you. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah, si fue. Ni me pusieron las two weeks because I like I told you guys I was floating around. So she was like, you know what? Like I'm not even gonna give you two weeks because what are you gonna do here for two yeah. weeks? Like, yeah, y no te vamos a pagar nomás para pararte ahí <laughs> con tu teléfono. She was like, no te vamos a pagar gratis. So ya vete a chingar su madre. And bye. I'm like, no, I want my two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need those two weeks. You're like, I have a bill coming up. No, like, yeah. I <laughs> but yeah, that was it. And then. A mí siempre me pregunta mucha gente like, what's an advice you give for anyone trying to do social media? Mm -hmm. And one of the things other than being consistent is taking risks. Oh yeah. Because it's una cosa que risk. mucha gente no hace. Like, a lot of people are like, you know what? Y no estoy diciendo que dejes tu trabajo y apenas estás empezando mm -hmm. tu video. Tampoco. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Like, that's not the type of risk I'm saying. I like, feel like you should take the risk when you already know that you're getting income from another place. Yes. You know? And where you want to be like, you know what? I'm going to take the risk and maybe it's not enough income, but I know if I put my whole oh, 100% yeah, into it, works. puede salir algo bueno. Yeah. And you know who gave me the idea too that, well, Jenny... Oh, she shit. was actually like one time I was like hanging out with her and I was just talking to her and like I was telling her how I was stressed and she's like just go for it dude like yeah. go for it like do it and she's like I say you do it tomorrow and I'm like oh <laughs> no girl like not tomorrow you're like nah nah girl I'm talking about for, like for next year <laughs> no, I, yeah. I and then she's like just do it dude like it's gonna be the best decision you've made talking about Jenny hay mucha gente que la critica but like behind closed doors, dude, doors Jenny is really sweet and gives really good advice she's a, like a big sister no, literally, she legit. Was, I think when I was starting, she was like a, like a big sister for me. Porque me decía y me aconsejaba. And I was like, oh my God, like I love that. She wants the good for me, yeah. you know? Was that like during like the Prima era? Yeah. Oh my God, so you were still working yeah. your job during that yeah. time. It was when, yeah, when, when we were, like, when I first met her and we would hang out, like I would go to her house. And was that like, were you already, were you already at your job when you guys went to like Kuliji Town? I remember. Wait, let me think. I think I had already quit it, maybe. Quit. Yeah, but like around quit, quit. that time. But around that time. At huh? that time, you yet me miraba como un influencer ya bien oh. like cemented into the industry. No, yeah, I was going through it. <laughs> I mean, like it took me a long <laughs> yeah. time. So obviamente, you know, la gente te ha visto growing and taking that, you know, leap of faith literally resulted into something so beautiful. Yeah. Ahorita te miramos con trabajando con marcas que obviamente a la mejor Dude, tú you were never, growing up using. You know, I never imagined it. Like, well, I did, but I just never thought it would. To that capacity. To that capacity. Yeah. <laughs> Empezaste a trabajar con marcas, te empezó a ir bien en el YouTube, en el TikTok, everywhere, en cada mm. plataforma social. Maybe like a year and a half ago, conociste al que es ahorita tu novio, a I'm Oscar. Like, el amor de tu vida. <laughs> How was that? I know, I know a little bit the story, like the behind the uh -huh. scenes, pero ¿cómo fue eso? So that was ¿Cómo lo conociste? <laughs> ah, you're like, I'm was like, not supposed to was happen. Not supposed to <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, I think great things always happen unexpectedly, yeah. you know? So it was one time I told my mom that I wanted to invest my money. Yeah. Um, and she's like, okay, mija, like, I, I know this realtor, like, we can go and, like, see a ver en que te pueden ayudar, or if you, you're qualified to buy a house. a house. yeah. So I was like, okay, like, we can do that. And she set up a meeting with this realtor, and I just thought it was going to be the realtor and my mom. Like, yeah. that's all I thought. Like, okay... And I, I was a chamaca. Well, I feel like I'm still a chamaca because I don't really know a lot of things yet. But yeah. I didn't know anything back then about like buying a house, how to qualify to buy a house, any of that. So I was scared going into the meeting, but I had my mom with me. So it's kind of like going to the doctor. Yeah. You're like, she knows yeah, what I'm she's like, talking she about. Knows. I'm like, talk to her. I'll yeah. listen. Bitch. <laughs> I'll answer the questions you want to know. So I was there with my mom and then we walk in and it was the realtor and my boyfriend Oscar and I'm like 
what the hell? Like, you're like, you're not supposed to be here. I'm like, ah. ¿en qué me metí? I'm like, what am I going to do? ¿Qué me van a preguntar? You know? ¿Qué cuánto tengo en el banco? No, Ay, like, les miento, les that. digo la verdad. <laughs> yeah. So I sit down and then we're like talking and conversating and everything was good. Like he was super professional, nada de que, oh, he was checking me out. Yeah. Oh, me estaba dando los ojitos, nothing. Y yo tampoco, because we were there to like, you know, work. do business and work. So after that, the meeting ended, he left home, and then we were about to go home, and my mom was like, ay, mija, um, un muchachito así me gustaría para ti. And I was like, mom, stop, like, don't say that right now. Because, dude, it, my mom is like, she manifests everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything that comes out of her mouth, sometimes I'm like, mom, don't say that. Because Porque se va a ser realidad. Se va a ser ah, realidad. Yeah. So when she said that, I kid you not. I'm like, I kid you not. Yo pensé en mi mente. He's going to be my boyfriend. Yeah. Just because my mom said it, I You're know. You're like, soy. Somehow, like, somehow it's going to be, like, a thing. Se va a dar. Yeah. But I never really paid much attention to it until, like, later. Like, he followed me on Instagram, and I he DM'd me, and he was like, oh, I'm going to um follow all your platforms, like, to support you. Like, yeah. very, like, still professional. And yeah. I was like, okay, like, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Hi, you're like, yay. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> like, Don't forget, my only fans have <laughs> support me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ha, ha, he would have unfollowed right away. <laughs> he's like, boom. <laughs> After that, I was like, oh, he's a nice guy. Like, thank you. Y así la dejamos. Nada yeah. de que seguimos hablando, nothing. And then one time, I remember I had my um, foot fractured. You remember that? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> he slid up on my DMs because I was like going off on myself, like talking basically crap about myself, how I didn't take care of myself. Que soy una mensa, que por qué me tropecé, que no sé qué. And he slid up and he was like, oh, don't go too hard on yourself. And then I, I was like, oh, like, thank oh, you. Uh, like, okay. But I empezó like la plática, but still it wasn't anything flirty. Like it was like, oh, like, you just know. Just being a good person. Yeah. I was like, thank you, blah, blah, blah. And then. After the time went on, it's when it started getting, like, more, like, he started shooting his, his shot, and then I was like, okay, like, let me shoot mine, and then... You're like, chinga su madre. Yeah. I was like, you know... You're like, my mom's fucking manifesting this shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on a date with him. Okay. And, dude, the first date went, like, it was, like, perfect. I was like, wow, like, it really made me feel, like, safe. Yeah. Like, I was in a safe place with him. And me fui a dormir bien contenta. Ay, like, like, ay, oh. mañana me caso. He was ay. so respectful. Like, me abría la puerta. Like, I mean, he still is, you know, but... Yeah. You know, the first date, I was like, oh my God, like, this is, he's such a good guy. Era algo que a lo mejor tú no estabas impuesta. No, you know yeah, what I mean? You're like, damn, people actually get treated nicely. No, yeah. And yeah. it was like, wow, like, this is nice, you know? So I went to sleep and then, you know, he asked I me woke on the up second date. <laughs> The rest is history. <laughs> You're like, now we're married. <laughs> so, ¿cómo te pidió que sea tu novia después de ese first date? Was it, o esperaron un poquito? Esperamos un poquito. So, well, él. Aaron. <laughs> You're like, yo, pues, like, si yo fuera no. por mí, ya para el próximo día fuera su novia. He's like, esperó mucho. No, no, <laughs> like, ya se está tardando. <laughs> no, so three months passed after okay. that. Um, we kept going on dates and everything, and I was still shy. But it was funny because I remember the second date. Um, we went to, I believe it was the second day. We went to a pumpkin patch. Okay. And he was like, are you going to vlog? And I was like, no. <laughs> you're like, no, why? Dude, more because I was shy. Yeah. You're like, and no like, voy a sacar la cámara while I'm on a date. It was second day yeah. too. And then he's like, no, bring your camera. Like, él era como muy... Like, ponte a trabajar, <laughs> amiga. <laughs> like, more yeah. like... Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, like encouraging. I'm yes. yes. And I like that about him. And it made you feel good because, well, that's your job. Yeah, and you know? comfortable too. Yeah. Like, oh my God, he's encouraging me. Like, no know? te molesta uh -huh. que tengo una cámara. Yes, right. yes, yes. I thought he was going to feel weird or like he was going to feel awkward. But yeah. no, he was like, yeah, bring it. And I was like, oh my God. It was more like I didn't want to because I didn't want to, like, I was shy around yeah. him. So I bring it and we're, I'm all vlogging or whatever. And he's, I was nervous the first time. Like, hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Bitch. And he was all quiet. Like <laughs> no, yeah, but okay. So then after that, like five, five dates happened. And then um, one day he asked me to be his girlfriend. It was January 8th. Mm. And oh my God, it was so cute. He like set up a whole dinner in his like um, living room. Uh -huh. And well, his, his, his view is like the view of the city. Yeah. So it was like super romantic. And oh, dude, I couldn't stop crying that day. And he asked my parents to, so I could be his girlfriend. He asked them Pidio for permission. Pidio permiso. 
Normalmente ya muchos hombres ahora no ya no hacen, piden permiso, no. piden perdón ya cuando las embarazan, ¿verdad? No, honestamente, like, it's very rare when I hear people say que pidieron permiso. Ah, Mari, they give me back. No, yes. That was a good one. Antes de que tú lo presentaras al mundo, mm. yo lo conocí, you know, porque lo llevaba a eventos. Oh, yeah, o lo, yeah. like, like, very, like, she's going to be out with him, but, like, uh -huh. you're not showing him out publicly right, right, to right. the world. Um, y yo me acuerdo, like, cuando miraba sus historias que la que la a esto que le dice, ay, yo me equivoqué de novio, que okay? like, no, because he was really going above no, and beyond yeah. for everything. What was that moment where you were like, he's the one? Well, I think since like the first date, because and it sounds so like, oh my god, Marlene, like, tú bien rápida, verdad? Ah, rápido te enamoras. No, but it's because like the way he treated me, like the attention to detail that he had with me, yeah. and. I had just like a really good, like great time with me. Okay. I wanted to go on a second, second date, date with him. Like you're like, I want more. No. Yeah. I yeah. was like, okay, yeah, we're going on a second date. Que das es como si se en picada. Yes. In the sense, but like in a good way where you're like, wow, like he now treated me so good. Now that I think about it, the second date wasn't a, um, the pumpkin patch. It was, the second day was a baseball game, which at the time I did not know anything about baseball, pero por andar con él, ya me like, fui fuck ahí. Boy, <laughs> me hago como la que yeah. sé todo. That's I'm like, crazy. I'll go with you. Yeah. So, obviamente, estuvieron de novios, uh, and a little bit over a year ago, tú decidiste enseñarlo en tus yeah. plataformas. What made you, <laughs> was that decision hard to make? It was. Because I, I don't know, I feel like, I just didn't want to... Um, ruin anything yeah like i feel like when you make your relationship public a lot of people come in and like they comment their stuff like stuff that we don't want to know about yeah. right y dan su opinión, which obviously is fine because you know i'm in the i'm in social media pero a veces se pasa yeah. well, a veces dan like, opiniones que es like wait cállate los chicos quien like, te la pidió yeah, i'm like no te estamos preguntando eso all right but i was really nervous but i'm like you know what he's a part of my life and i yeah. feel like he's gonna be a part of my life for a very very long time so why not yeah like why not show my followers like how happy i am um, who's who making is. me happy yeah who's making me happy and his personality because he has such a great personality yeah. and he's for sure like a people's person. No, he is. Se lleva con todos. And I love that about him. Pienso que hay mucha gente que cuando influencers no enseñan a sus novios o a sus parejas, empiezan a decir, ay, ha de estar feo, ha de estar mm -hmm. eso. No, güey. A veces es porque la gente empieza a criticar, la gente empieza a hacer bully, la gente yeah. empieza a, como dices tú, empiezan a sacar a calzones de cosas que hicieron maybe en su Or pasado. Even like makeup stuff. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, wait, ¿para qué voy a querer poner algo que es muy bonito en mi vida en yeah. jeopardize because la gente no sabe respetar right. a otra gente? You know what I mean? So, after putting him online, do you feel like it was so much easier for you? Yeah, it was so much easier. And honestly, like, I don't think I had many of those comments come through, which I'm really like, glad and thankful mm -hmm. for um i think everybody for the like for the most part was really respectful like not no como meter cizaña or anything like yeah. that so it was good like it went well for me you know you guys have been together for a while now mm -hmm. y siempre especially being on social media y yo pienso que también allá en tu casa o en la casa de él siempre va a haber gente tratando de presionarlos maybe with the timeline like la gente siempre quiere decir Marlene ¿cuándo vas a tener tus hijos? Marlene ¿cuándo se van a casar? Marlene when are you guys gonna move in together? do yeah. you guys get a lot of that? yeah we do on, mostly on social media I don't think our yeah. parents are really like that I think my mom's more like tú tómate tu tiempo a when tu you tiempo. want to yeah, yeah. Because I think my mom also wants me to, like, live life a little bit more uh, before I, like, settle in. I yeah. think, like, with kids or, like, moving in because she's, like, eso es, like, otro mundo. And I think his parents, for the most part, también. Yeah. Like, it's, like, we, they understand, right? Like, it's whenever we want to. But social media is always, like, oh, so when are you guys going to move in? Or, like, how many kids are you guys going to have? Or how many kids do you want? And I'm just, like... <gasps> Amiga. You're like, girl, yo quiero saber qué vamos a hacer de comer hoy, <laughs> like, ¿no? Yo quiero saber cuándo es el otro viaje, yeah. <laughs> Yo quiero saber cuándo voy a ir a Dubai, ¿no? Oh, cuándo yeah. voy a tener hijos. So, I just want to be selfish right now. Yeah. Because I want to travel and, like, live life with him. Yeah. With my partner that I enjoy, like, spending time with first. And then we can think about 
moving in or getting married or having kids. Todo eso viene a su tiempo y también viene cuando uno se sienta listo. It's not that you don't right. love him. It's not that you don't love him enough. Pero a veces, como dices tú, uno quiere disfrutar de la relación yeah. bien because no tienen así como años, años, decades no, yeah. juntos. You know what I mean? So it's very yeah. much like queremos disfrutar. Los dos estamos jóvenes. Los dos queremos viajar, hacer right. esto antes de que nos aplaquemos y digamos, sabes que ya nuestra vida va a ser mucho más diferente. I think also because we do have a very healthy relationship yeah. so I feel like whenever people see that they're like oh well they have they have a good relationship like ¿por qué no tener hijos? ya están listos Or, well, yeah why not move in right now like if you guys are like perfect yeah but even if we look perfect we're not always gonna be perfect yeah. because you know relationships are always gonna have like their little struggles um, but it's it's always when you feel like completely ready yeah. you know and I feel like la gente en el internet yo pienso que trata de apurar a todos but I'm like girl si tanto quieres que nos casemos a ver cásate tú ah I'm <laughs> like ten hijos tú like no, ten yeah. los tú quien me los va yeah. a cuidar yo ahorita quiero andar disfrutando and it's it's good that both of you guys especially you guys' family yeah. are like all on the same Page. boat because hay mucha gente que hasta familia no respeta eso right. no respeta de que nomás porque ustedes se casaron a los 16 no significa que yo también right, right. you know what I mean and I feel like it's good que los dos sepan lo que quieren y a su tiempo yeah. you and, know and I'm not saying that my mom would not like a grandkid yeah. or like his mom would not love like a grandkid like I feel like my mom right now está esperando because yeah. none of her kids have grand, like babies right so she's waiting for one but she's not telling me like ay mija ya quiero uno And she's not being selfish. Yeah. In the sense of like, ay, quiero nieto, quiero nieto, yeah. que se embarace mi hija o que embarace right. a una morra a mis hijos. No, right. it's more like, sí quiero nietos, mm -hmm. pero yo quiero también que mis hijos vivan su vida y que ellos lo hagan a yeah. su tiempo. And she always tells me to like, I always want, like, yo, yo quiero nieto, pero al final del día, you're going to take care of it. Yeah. I'm not going to be taking care of your kids. And I'm like, So, All cuando right. estés lista, like, mijita. Give me, I'm like, give me time then. <laughs> You're like, fuck, si ya dijiste eso, entonces ya nunca los voy a tener. <laughs> Imagine me. You're like, chica, su madre. Imagine, ya, no, mejor, mejor no. You guys, siento como que la plática is going really good. Ya merito terminamos y la Marlene quiere otro pinche shot. ¿Y quién soy yo para negárselo, verdad? <laughs> Chinga su madre, yo supuestamente no iba a tomar, Dude, pero. Same. It's Friday somewhere, right? Ah, uh, it's on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, it's not Friday anywhere, And actually. And it's 5 p.m. somewhere, too. All right, you guys, so aquí tenemos nuestros shots pa' arriba, pa' abajo, pa' el centro y pa' adentro. Mm. Mm -mm. Should I start bringing the shots back? Yeah. Should I, you guys? Because I, I feel like me siento hasta it más cómodo. Like vibe. Yeah. You know what? I also feel like I stopped it too because I get sweaty, but ahorita me siento, me siento bien. No, yeah. But maybe because I'm really comfortable with you y like te conozco That's ya true. de mucho tiempo. Shots always make someone comfortable. Yeah, no, en They verdad que sí. Do, yeah. Y sueltan la sopa, güey. So, ¿saben qué? <laughs> Empezando el episodio que viene, va a haber puta shot. Thank Vino me. So ah, <laughs> like, thank Marlene, por favor, porque si no, no hubieran existido las shots otra vez en noche de pendejadas. Ok, so hate comments. Obviamente hablamos mucho de lo que la gente dice en internet, pero right. no siempre son comentarios positivos. Yeah. Obviamente la gente siempre habla su mierda porque pues lo va a hablar y tiene en su boca y pues cada quien tiene su opinión. How do you deal with hate comments? I don't. Uh, I ignore them. <laughs> I, for the most part, I ignore them because I just feel like if I look too into it, como que si me llega a la cabeza. Yeah. And my mom has always taught me, like, que te valga lo que la gente piense de yeah. ti. If it's a negative comment. If it's a good comment, you should be focusing on the good comments. But, you know, you're always going to have people commenting on, especially, like, on your appearance, on, like, you know, the industry yeah. that we're in. We're always, like, with makeup, without makeup, um, trying to look good. And everybody's always going to have something to say. Like, maybe, like, a couple of months ago, they started, like, bullying me. <laughs> like, I mean, cries right now. On I'm my like, body. Really? Uh, Dr. Phil, ¿qué te pasó, amiga? <laughs> Dime, cuéntame, <laughs> um, They started, like, telling me about my body, that oh, I started shit. gaining weight. And I did gain weight, but... Ay, no manches, la estaban haciendo como... Como mucho. que si te poniste como esa torta, si, like, no, girl. Como si me morí o algo. I'm like, yeah. girl, like, and if I did, like, I look... I feel good. And you I look, look good. good. But people were always like, oh, did you get a second BBL? Did you do this? And... Lo confieso aquí, I did not get a second BBL. <laughs> I just gained weight because yeah. when you gain weight and you have a BBL, it goes to your butt. So, yeah, I feel like 
whenever that was happening, it was getting to me a little bit. And I remember I was like, oh my God, dude, like it's getting to me. And yeah. my mom was like, dude, like don't listen to that. Like, why are you even, you've never been like that. And I've yeah. never been like that. Whatever people tell me, yo, me vale. Like, me vale. I don't care. But I think, it was more, I think it was more because I knew I had to get back on track. And it's very much like it was something you were actually struggling with and that was yeah. maybe bothering you. See, hubiera sido like, oh, you gained weight, pero right. era lo que tú querías, a lo mejor no, te hubiera yeah. valido. And I, I remember I told someone, I was like, dude, if they're commenting on my face, I don't care. Because I think I'm pretty. <laughs> and you're like, I'm a bad bitch. Yeah. I'm like, and I don't care what you say about me. Like, yeah. I think I'm pretty. But the fact that I know that I have to get back on track and you're, you're pointing it out, it bothered me. Honestly, I've never understood someone going online, commenting something negative on someone. Like, for what? I remember la última vez que mira Marlene, mm -hmm. me hiciste esto un comentario. Yeah. Like, I complimented her uh -huh. and... And it's, you know what's crazy? El comentario <laughs> que me dices tú is very much a comentario that I would probably do. So like, uh -huh. I make comments like that to be like, if they're thinking it, at least they know I know. At least right, they know right, that right. I know. Like, let me just say it, point it out before yes. they say it. So I remember <laughs> I had complimented Marlene. I'm like, bitch, you look so good. Mm -hmm. Porque en verdad, sí, güey. Yo yeah. siempre te he dicho, like, Marlene and Yoatsi are probably one of my favorite BBLs in the industry. Yeah. Y yo siempre lo he dicho. Y yo me acuerdo, maybe... La última vez que te vi, ¿cuándo uh -huh. fue, güey? Um, Antes de esta vez. Pienso que fue... En una fiesta, ¿no? En una fiesta, no me acuerdo. And I remember I complimented Marlene and she was like, ah, bitch, me all gaining weight. Uh -huh. Ah, sí lo dije. And I was like, oh, bitch, like, no lo estoy diciendo por eso. But uh -huh. it comes to show that, like, a right. veces si it nosotros, you, we yeah. get self-conscious. Do you no, feel yeah. like it got too bad to where a point where you're like, fuck, I don't even want to show my body too much online because la gente yeah. va a criticarme? Well, it wasn't more, it wasn't really about, like, gente criticarme. It was just like, I didn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like, wouldn't really take pictures as much and stuff and um that's when people started pointing it out and then i was like oh my god like i think it bothered me so much because i knew i had to get back on yeah. on track like go to the gym and yeah like i went back to the gym and i started working out and people people switch up on you so fast and it Literally. annoys me because as i started working out I wasn't really like on it, like on yeah. it, you know, like I would go like maybe three times a week and then people out of nowhere were like, oh my God, you look so you good. You look amazing. Yeah, the best like, you've ever looked. Yeah. And I'm like, girl, BFFR, I have not gone to the gym in a week. <laughs> I'm like, BFFR, girl, I have no. not lost any weight, yeah, actually. So it goes to show that when whatever you say on social media, people believe it. Yeah. It's like, I could, I could tell you right now, like I cannot go to the gym right now and I could be telling you guys, yeah, I'm going to the gym. And then like, girl, you look amazing. Yeah, you ah. look so good. But in reality, I'm not going to the gym. Yeah. But cuando estaba, like when I wasn't going to the gym, you guys were like, oh, you look, you're gaining weight. Like what's going on? So... I'm just like, that's when I realized I, it, sh it shouldn't get to me porque la gente se deja influenciar por lo que digas. And I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like we're in 2023, you guys. Y yo pienso que it's so tacky. It's so like stupid y lo digo yeah. con todo respeto wey when people comment on other people's bodies like que te valga verga si no te... yo yo no con todo respeto yo se los digo bien ah, like, no, don't be right, commenting on people's bodies like chinga tu madre <laughs> <laughs> no but for real though like it's like girl we're in 2023 no, que te valga like... verga si la pinche lonja me está colgando es mi lonja no la tuya yeah. te está colgando a ti no entonces que te valga yeah. like I don't know why people siempre y sabes que también es la gente Right. Que criti la gente que critica a veces se mira peor que uno. And I'm like, girl, te has mirado el puto espejo porque si yo si te miraras no estuvieras diciendo lo I've que dices. I've back so much on commenting back. Yeah. Um, but then at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't think it's worth my time. Bitch, and it's worth my time. <laughs> ah, I mean, like Sometimes me. I do have time though. Yeah. I'm like, all right, like I'm just gonna say. Like you know what? I'm tired of it. But and yeah. I feel like it's normal. Yo pienso que mucha gente luego, cuando, especially when someone claps back or like cuando se trata de defender, mucha gente piensa y dice, oh, I got you. No way. So, mm -hmm. oh, oh, sí, sí, chinga su madre. It did get to me. Why? Yeah. Because al fin del día soy humano. Yeah, al fin del human. día si me estás llamando gordo, si me estás llamando ugly all the time it is gonna get yeah. to me because igual que si yo te llamo a ti gorda igual si yo te llamo a ti like whatever it is te va especially it's gonna hurt. if you already have like family members telling you and if you're insecure uh, about it you too you know family members a veces well I don't really care if my mom tells me that I'm gaining weight because 
I know she's doing it for my own good and she only looks out for me, right? Yeah. But if if it's someone that doesn't know me and like you're not my family, then you should not have an opinion on my body. Yes. Like at all. I, in general, you know, which is you crazy. Know, yeah, in general. But I think I grew up with like my family being like always keeping track on me that I don't care. Like, you know I'm what's so like, crazy? Okay, I like, used to be it. like that. But now after my surgery, uh-huh. I feel like even my family, I've had to call them out on like, girl, like don't no, say yeah. anything because... All right, you guys, I'm going to say it. Like, some family members have lately been telling me, like, oh, ya estás perdiendo mucho peso. Oh like, ya God. no pierdas. Like, te estás mirando bien como estás ahorita, pero si pierdes mal, te vas a, si pierdes más, te vas a mirar más flaco. Se entiende. Like, and to me, no, and to me, when they say that, it does, it doesn't get to me, but it makes me, me pone en un lugar como de que, wait, I can't control right now with my surgery how much weight I'm losing. Right. So, si tú me empiezas a decir, my family, man, ah, me vale verga lo que la gente le internet diga pero my family si me yeah. empiezas a decir like te vas a mirar mal muy flaco it is gonna make me feel some type of way because it's something that at this moment i can't control right. yo estoy perdiendo weight like bitch like yeah. i kid you not like no dude but you look really thank good. you, you thank you really, really but good. it is something like ya no commenting on anyone's yeah. body at all because i've gotten to the point you guys spicy let's see yo les voy a ser aquí honesto um when i started getting comments from my family people saying that i'm losing too much weight yo me right. acuerdo que un día wey un día comí hasta de más comí chetos comí hasta una traté de comerme una hamburguesa no me la pude comer obviamente but yeah. i started eating like one day like a, ba- a lot of Como, bad shit to even it out to even it out, como, como de coraje. No, 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 not de coraje. More oh, to like, okay. be like, okay, maybe the, I am losing weight a lot. Like, let me see if I can control my weight loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero no, güey, al próximo día perdí dos libras. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's uh, something that it's I like, can't yeah. control. So why are people commenting no, on yeah, it if it's like, just let me be. I have a similar story, but yo sí lo hice de coraje. <laughs> ah, yo, yo I para. was in college and I was gaining weight and everybody told me you're gonna gain like the freshman 15 freshman yeah. 15 is when you gain 15 pounds in one year because oh, you're like a freshman <laughs> like bitch me getting that in a getting month used to, stop. <laughs> getting used to like college and like you just want to eat like yeah. stress eating right and dude i did gain a lot of weight but my mom was like i mean that's 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 got like mas um, llenita. That's mas llenita, this and this and that and dude me the coraje i was just like she would be like tienes que ir al ejercicio tienes que ir acá and then be like no I'm going to do whatever I want. And I want, I'm going to eat. Yeah. So yo de coraje, empe- yo comía y comía y comía. And you're like, fuck. Y sí, sí. I was like, llenita. And then after I was like, okay, well, I think it's time to like go to the gym. You're and- like, wait, I'm actually hurting myself. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm hurting. Me trying to prove a point. No, yeah. I was like, I'm not hurting my mom. I'm not hurting my family. I'm hurting myself yeah. by trying to prove a point. Yeah. Like being like, I don't care what you say. But in reality, I do care what they say because I know that my mom at, at the end of the day or my family, they yeah. don't mean any harm to me. They just want me to like be the best, the best version, version of, of yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just feel like at the end of the day, you guys, um, on my end, like I just feel like we're in 2023. Like, si no es yeah. tu cuerpo, cállate el hocico. Right. Si no es tu lonja, si no es tu, oh, your, your ribs showing... Cállate. And I know everybody has insecurities. So yes. Like, how would you feel someone pointing out your insecurities? And like, at the end of the like day, it. yeah, and at the end of the day, I feel like us influencers, somos bien buenos para decir, yeah. nos vale verga, nos vale verga. Yeah. But at the end of the day, <laughs> somos humanos, Y a wey. veces sí te vale. <laughs> a veces sí me vale hasta mucho. So what would be one advice that maybe someone who is going through it, whether it's gaining weight or losing weight, like one advice that you can give to someone that maybe is getting judged by their family or friends about their appearance? Que es algo que les quieres decir a ellos I feel like you shouldn't care what people have to say like you should focus on yourself um, and take it day by day you know do whatever your goal is it's your goal like it's yeah. no one else's goal you know that's your goal so just focus on that y si tú estás feliz como te miras eso es lo que importa yeah. y si no estás feliz haz algo about it you know yeah, what I mean because I was I'm happy right now yeah but when I was getting the comments I was not happy yeah. which is why it was bothering me so I got up and I did something about it. I was like, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to change my diet. And right now I feel happy. I know I have a goal where I want to be, but I'm not like crying right now because I like look a certain, like I don't look how I want to look, yeah. right? Like I know what I have to work on. on. 
to get there and you're also doing something about it which yeah. is something that's really important you guys because yo yo pienso que por muchos años yo siempre estaba chingue y chingue de que ay estoy gordo estoy infeliz no me siento gusto me siento así pero no hacía nada uh -huh. so es de like, cómo vas a estar chingue y chingue y chingue pero estás igual como right. no estás haciendo nothing about it so as long as you're doing something about it guys if you lose a pound in a month be happy be proud of yourself yeah. because that pound will turn into five will turn into ten will yeah. turn into your weight goal so whatever it is you guys if there's anything you guys can take from this little convo is literally don't comment on anyone's body and you know what at the end of the day people are gonna still comment but i know dude it's like, madre. i feel like i can stop everybody but i can't like you there's can. always someone and you know what i realized that it's mostly like little kids yeah ya para terminar esta entrevista yo te quiero preguntar la última pregunta que le pregunto a todos where does marlene dizzle see herself in the next five years Well, in five years, I see myself already with a business. Um, I want to, like, you know, do my, obviously, create my business and have, be an entrepreneur like my mom. I always said this. I want to be an entrepreneur like my parents. Period. Because they, growing up, they always taught me um, that anything is possible in this world. And I always had that mentality. So, yeah. Five years, I see myself with Period, my you guys. So, in cinco know, años. I don't know si con kids. Don't ask me that. Because only God knows. But, Yeah. Pero si viene un chamaquillo, chinga su madre. Ah, you're like, good job <laughs> for her. Te lo voy a dar a ti, Alan, para ah, que lo cuide. Que lo cuide. <laughs> no, but it's good, you know, and it's good that you have that great example of your mom. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what, si mi mamá pudo, not maybe having all the resources in the world, yeah. yo que si las tengo, yo que si me he preparado, I can do that. it. Isn't that crazy? Dude, my parents didn't have anything when they came over here. Y tú teniendo degree, tú teniendo resources, el internet, tú puedes. El internet. Que ellos no tenían, güey. Que ellos no tenían. That's crazy. So yeah. lo, es para pa que ustedes se pongan a pensar, güey, que si hay gente antes lo podían hacer, también ustedes. And I'm not talking about influencing. I'm talking about the simple fact that Google didn't exist. Yeah. But, like, now you can Google everything. Like, how can I do this? Or YouTube, how can I do that? And before, they didn't have any of that. So, That's it's crazy. crazy. So, esperemos que, no, no en cinco años, güey, en unos, unos dos, tres años, sí. la Marlene ya tenga su business y que ustedes la sigan yes. apoyando. <laughs> okay, so, with that being said, thank you so much, thank amiga. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. I had a great time. Yo espero que también a ustedes les haya gustado mucho esta, esta entrevista porque, en verdad, la pura neta del planeta que yo, en verdad, que sí me la disfruté. Yo I got to know you a little bit more. I know. And I'm like, I'm like, ya, ya puedo ir a hablar de ella. Ay, ya puedo decir, no, sí, mi amiga trabaja trabajo en esto ah, I'm like oh you know you childhood ah, yo la conozco bien amiga so with that being said thank you so much for being here and thank you guys and thank you guys so much for watching and with that being said you guys don't forget to follow Marlene on all her social medias which I'll leave linked down below y también aquí van a aparecer on the screen and don't forget to follow me so you guys won't miss any future episodes and with that being said we'll see you guys on the next one bye guys <laughs>